Father, we thank you for that mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. Lord, there's no one like you. We are here today, O oh Lord, by your mercy and by your favor. And we thank you, Father, for bringing us, O oh Lord, to the end of the year. Father, we give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. And we pray, O oh Lord, that let this new year, let the year that is about to begin, O oh Lord, may it begin, O oh Father, with our lives in your hands and our destiny established by your mighty hand in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that whatever spirit, O oh Lord, that the enemy has released, O oh Father, to fight the hearts of your people, Father, I pray that let that spirit be cached in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, O oh Lord, that let your perfect will prevail over the service of today in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Have the wonderful seats and God bless you. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. And all the time. So I want to use this opportunity. Donc je vais utiliser cette opportunité. To thank my father, Prophet A. Samuel. Pour remercier mon père, le prophète A. Samuel. For the trust that he has given me to be here this morning. Pour le privilège qu'il m'a accordé d'être ici ce matin. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, can you stand to your neighbor? Say neighbor. Donc est-ce que vous pouvez dire à votre voisin, voisin? Say neighbor. Du voisin. Say neighbor. Du voisin. Are you grateful? Est-ce que tu es reconnaissant? Say neighbor. Du voisin. Are you always thanking God? Est-ce que tu remercies toujours Dieu? Say neighbor. Du voisin. When you are in pain. Quand tu es dans la douleur. Do you thank God? Est-ce que tu remercies Dieu? Say neighbor. Du voisin. When you are in shame. Quand tu es dans la honte. Do you thank God? Est-ce que tu remercies Dieu? Say neighbor. Du voisin. When your business is not going. Quand tes affaires ne marchent pas bien. When your job is not going. Quand ton travail ne marche pas bien. What do you say to God? Qu'est-ce que tu dis à Dieu? Do you thank God? Est-ce que tu remercies Dieu? Or you complain about God? Ou tu te plains de Dieu? Or you complain about yourself? Ou tu te tu te plains de toi-même? In Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. So they will bring us the title of our message this morning. Ils vont nous introduire le thème de cette gratitude. Un cœur de reconnaissance. Alléluia. Amen. What does it mean by to have a heart of gratitude? Qu'est-ce que cela veut dire d'avoir un cœur de reconnaissance? That means a heart of thanksgiving. Ça veut dire un cœur de reconnaissance. Among the so many things, parmi toutes les choses, that Jesus asks us to do, que Jésus nous demande de faire, he was that we should always thank God. Ça veut dire nous devons toujours remercier Dieu. Why should you thank God when you are in pain? Pourquoi est-ce que tu dois remercier Dieu quand tu es dans la douleur? Why should you thank God when your life is not moving the way you want it to move? Pourquoi est-ce que tu dois remercier Dieu lorsque ta vie ne marche pas comme ça? Why should you thank God? When your marriage is not going well, why should you thank God? When your children, they are not doing well, like the children of others, why should you thank God? When do we thank God? And who are those that thank God? Let us open our Bibles to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And verse 16 to 18. First Thessalonians. And Thessalonians. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. And verse 16 to 18. 16 à 17. And Thessalonians 5. Verse 16 à 17. Je lis dans l'Esprit du Seigneur. 16. Soyez toujours joyeux. 17. Priez sans cesse. 18. Rendez grâce en toutes choses, car c'est à votre égard la volonté de Dieu en Jésus-Christ. Amen. Alléluia. 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. I read in the spirit of the Lord. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks to God. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In how many things should we give thanks to God? Hallelujah. The Bible says in everything. So it means even if you are in shame, the only thing you need to do is to give thanks to God. I take it over again. Rejoice evermore. Verse 17. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God 
in Christ Jesus concerning you. Hallelujah. The Bible says we should rejoice always. What does it mean to rejoice always? When the Bible talks about rejoicing always, it does not refuse the fact that you are going, going to face problems. The Bible didn't hide from us that we are going to be full of challenges. But he said, let us rejoice always and pray without ceasing. Then he ended by saying, for everything, let us give thanks to God. Hallelujah. Amen. This was Apostle Paul. He wrote this letter to the church in Thessalonica. When you read from verse 1 right up to the end, they were Gentiles and they have just received Jesus. So Apostle Paul told them that they should wait for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So while the people were waiting, things began to happen around their lives that they did not understand. So Apostle Paul now had to write them this letter by telling them that do not be worried that give thanks to God in everything because it is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So it means that we have the duty to always thank God be it in good situations or be it in bad situations. If you focus your ability or you focus your mind only on the good things that will happen in your life, you are going to lose a greater portion of life. Because the, the portion of life that brings you greatness does not come with an invitation of good things. Hallelujah. Amen. When bad things begin to happen in your life, it is an invitation that has been released to you that good things are on the way coming. But now, how are you going to receive the good things? That's what the Paul now says. Rejoice always. So it means in the midst of pain, in the midst of anger, he now says rejoice. How can one be in pain? How can one be in anger? And you tell him or he should to rejoice. This is because there are two types of blessings. We have physical blessings and we have spiritual blessings. When you are physical environment, when the physical blessing seems not to be coming forth, we must always remember that we have spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. So when you begin to thank God for the spiritual blessings that he has given to you, you are now telling God that despite the physical problems around my life, I still know you are a confident God. I still know you are still the God that blesses. But now when you take off your eyes from spiritual blessings, and you now based on physical blessings, you will curse God when problems come your way. You will complain when challenges strike your home. You will complain when your business is not moving. But if you have the knowledge that you also have spiritual blessings that are always available and always waiting for you, whenever your physical environment it can be sickness, it can be pain, it can be failure, always know that you have spiritual success. Always know that you have spiritual advancement even when your life is not advancing. Amen. When you cultivate a heart of gratitude, a heart that always say thank you, Lord, you are making yourself one with God 
that God cannot ignore. Hallelujah. Amen. When Apostle Paul began to reveal this mystery to the people in Thessalonians, the reason was because he don't want them to bow the God they are serving. He don't want them to base their mind only on the physical blessings that were coming around them. So we must always make sure that we practice thanksgiving. That is why today we are having the service of thanksgiving. Why are we supposed to give thanks to God? We are giving thanks to God because we acknowledge him that he is the Alpha and the Omega. That means he is the beginning of our lives, the beginning of our businesses, the beginning of our jobs, the beginning of whatever we do per day, he now ends at the Omega. So we need to come back to him that the same way you begin with us, the same way you are ending with us today, this is our thanksgiving to you. Hallelujah. Remember the story of Jesus and the 5,000 people in John chapter 6. The Bible says that when Jesus, after Jesus finished from a crusade, after preaching and healing people, the multitude came before him and they were hungry. They, were, they needed food to eat. Some of us today, we need food to eat. Your own food can be in your marriage. Your own food can be in your business. Your own food can be your children. Your own food can be your career. Now when Jesus told Philip, one of his disciples, he said, what can we do with these people? And they need to eat food. Where can we buy bread? Philip told him, that there is no amount of bread that we can buy that will be able to feed these people. Jesus, Philip was looking at the physical blessings. Jesus turned to one of his disciples again by name called Andrew. He asked Andrew, what do you think we can do with this, this multitude of people? Andrew told him that there is one young boy here he has two fishes and five loaves of bread. Jesus told him, ask the people to sit down. Remember that here, there was luck because two fish and five loaves of bread can never feed 5,000 people in respect to physical blessings. Hallelujah. So when Jesus took what they had at hand. Jesus did not complain. That why me? How can I perform miracles? And people don't have food to eat. When Jesus took what he took from them, he raised it up to the air. He said, thank you, Father, for you have heard us. Hallelujah. That showed the level to which Jesus understood that thanking God that having a heart of gratitude, a heart of contentment, is what provoke God to bring you more supplies. Hallelujah. More supplies will not come into your life because you are complaining. More supply will come into your life because you have thanked God for the little that he has brought into your life. There are so many of us today, we are complaining, we are crying, whereas we have the two fish and the five loaves of bread that was in the hands of that small boy. But why is it that we are still asking for more? Because we have not yet entered into that place of gratitude to the Lord. Are we together? So please, your heart of gratitude will open much doors for you that your prayers alone will not be able to open. Today we live in a world where, we, where, people, where people don't want to appreciate or don't want to acknowledge 
Ne veux pas reconnaître what God has done in their lives. Ce que Dieu a fait dans leur vie. Even in our own physical lives. Même dans nos vies physiques. We don't want to acknowledge. Nous voulons pas reconnaître the things that others have done into our lives. Les choses que les autres ont fait dans nos vies. Alléluia. So when you begin to acknowledge God so quand tu commences à reconnaître Dieu, for the little things ou les petites choses, that he has done to you, il t'a fait, God is going to open the doors Dieu va ouvrir les portes, for much things to enter your life. Pour plus de choses dans ta vie. Are we together? Que nous sommes so when you look again another example Donc, quand vous regardez encore notre exemple, of Lazarus de Lazare, when they told Jesus, a dit à Jesus that your friend Lazarus is dead que ton ami Lazare est mort, when Jesus arrived there quand Jésus est arrivé là-bas, Jesus did not command fire from heaven. Jésus n'a pas commandé le feu vers Jesus did not shout. Jésus n'a pas crié. The only thing he told them. La chose ce qu'il a dit. He said, roll away the stone. Il a dit rouler la pierre. And when the stone was rolled away, et quand la pierre était roulée, he looked at Lazarus in the tomb. Il a regardé à Lazare. He dans said, thank you, Father. Il a dit merci. Père. And Lazarus came back to life. Et Lazare est venu à la vie. There are a lot of things in your life. Il y a beaucoup de choses dans ta vie. That if you begin to thank God for them all now. Que si tu commences à remercier Dieu pour le petit, mais le plus There are greater things il y a des grandes choses that are going to come. qui vont venir. Today we Christians, aujourd'hui nous les chrétiens, our prayers today nos prières aujourd'hui are full of asking and demanding. sont pleins de demander. Whereas the easiest way, alors que le meilleur moyen the easiest way to get to God d'atteindre Dieu is to thank God c'est de remercier Dieu for the little pour le peu that he has provided to you. qu'il a pourvu pour nous. Because when you begin to thank God parce que quand tu à For the little that he has given to you, pour le peu qu'il t'a donné, you are putting pressure on him tu mets la to release lui. more to you. Pour te relâcher davantage. When you begin to complain in your prayers, quand tu commences à te plaindre dans tes prières, when you begin to point hand to people, quand tu commences à pointer les, you begin to limit God, tu commences à limiter Dieu, not to stretch forth his hands towards you again. De ne pas étendre sa main vers toi. How many of us, combien d'entre nous, have we made up our mind, est-ce qu'on a pris la décision, that we will pray most of our times. On va passer plus By thanking God for what He has done to us. When you are in trouble, when you are in need, the easiest way to get the attention of God, go back and begin to thank God for the things He has done to you before that day. For the things He has done for you. That is why it is always advisable. Always write down your blessings. Toujours. Notez ses bénédictions. Not what God has done to you. Notez ce que Dieu a fait pour vous. So that the moment you are in need, pour que le moment où tu es dans le besoin, you are not going to focus on your need. Vous n'allez pas vous focaliser sur le besoin. You are besoins. going to go back to the provisions. Vous allez rentrer aux provisions. That God already made for you from the beginning. Que Dieu a fait pour vous au commencement. And now you begin to thank Him. Vous allez commencer à le remercier. Even though I am sick, Lord, même si je suis malade, Seigneur, I can remember. Je peux me souvenir. How you heal my children. Even enfants, though I am poor, Lord, I can Seigneur, remember vous me souvenir, how you saved me from sickness. Tu m'as sauvé de la maladie, when you begin to pray that prayer of gratitude to God, tu à prier ces de gratitude à there Dieu, is no way y a pas de moyen, the hand of God will be shortened towards you. Que la main de Dieu sera écoutée vis-à-vis de toi. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us not keep on praying ne the pas prayers pas. of complaint. À prier les Let us not keep on ne continuons praying pas. the prayer of persecutions. À prier les prières de persécution. When you begin to accuse people Quand tu commences à accuser for les gens pour tes situations, for the evil going on in your life, pour le, le mal qui se passe dans ta vie, you are not doing good to yourself. Tu ne fais pas du bien à toi-même. Apostle Paul told the people la vote pour la Dieu, that in all things, que dans toutes choses, give thanks to God. Rendez grâce à Dieu. This is because c'est parce que when things began to go wrong in their lives, quand les choses commencent à aller mal dans leur vie, they started pointing hands at people. Ils commencent à pointer les doigts. Apostle Paul said no. Apostle Paul a dit non. This is not the way we rule in this kingdom. C'est pas la façon dont on se. In the kingdom of God, dans le royaume de Dieu, when you are in need, lorsque vous êtes dans le besoin, you go back to the provisions that God has given you. Vous allez à la provision. And this is how you can defeat Satan in your life. C'est comme ça que vous pouvez détruire Satan. When Satan afflicts you with sickness, quand Satan vous afflige avec la maladie, and you begin to cry about the sickness, et vous commencez à pleurer par la maladie, Satan will completely come and take control over you. Satan va venir prendre le dessus. When you are afflicted with sickness, quand vous êtes affligé de la maladie, and you go back and begin to thank God, et vous rendez remerciement. For the days that you were not sick. Pour les choses, pour les, pour les you pas are very calling healing from heaven to come upon those religion, days that you are sick. De venir sur ces choses qui sont Hallelujah. Amen. There are people today Il y a des personnes that they have never opened their mouth to thank God. Ils n'ont jamais ouvert leur bouche pour les there are families today Il y a des familles that they cannot thank even the people in their own personnes, families dans les that are helping them. There are some families today that are going through problems through disunity 
True hatred. It is not Satan. It is not because Satan has entered that family. But it is because ingratitude, ungratefulness has entered that family. Are we together? The reason why you will remain where you are, it is not because God don't want you to prosper. It is not because God doesn't want you to move forward. But it is because you have refused to acknowledge God for what he has been doing to you. When you want to pray to God and begin to ask for more, always make sure you go back and begin to thank him for what he has given you before. That is why you see hatred everywhere today. Because the same people that helped you the same people you need help from them you are not grateful for the little things that they have done to you you have not been able to be grateful for the little things that you have received from them there are some homes today that husband does not appreciate their wives there are some homes today that if their husband had the ability to just only acknowledge the willfulness of the wife. There will have never been any trouble in that home. This is because when you fail to appreciate the people around you, and others begin to appreciate them, they will tend to value them more than you that is around him or her. Hallelujah. There are some homes today that the father or oh, the mother oh, la does not appreciate the children. Les and when the children now goes out et les sortent, and other people begin to appreciate them, à les apprécier, the children's attention, attention their mind les begins to shift towards the outside. À se vers That's why you can hear today that my dit, uncle is rich. On dit, mon oncle my auntie is rich. Ma tante est riche, but he does not help people in the family. Mais pas les gens dans la famille. We are not saying that they should do so. But if you want to look into it, you will see that despite the efforts of that uncle, despite the efforts of that auntie, they are not appreciating what he or she is doing. Hallelujah. There are some relationships today that we have lost, that we are about to lose. It is not because of Satan, but because of ingratitude. We hardly go back to say thank you. That is why today we have to the man of God through the instruction of God that we should come for a thanksgiving service today. Because God wants us to come and show our gratitude to him before he can release us into 2024. Because if you do not thank God for what he has done in 2023, you will not be able to receive the blessings of 2024. Because the rule is that if you don't appreciate the small, the most you are looking for, it will never come. Are we together? Please let us learn to appreciate the efforts of one another. Appreciate the efforts of your creator. Just you having life. Just you living a life today. It's an opportunity for you to always thank God. Don't count your don't ever count your challenges. Don't count your problems. Always count your joy. And rejoice in them always. Are we together? The year is coming to an end. We know the people that have helped us in one way or the other. This is the moment for us to reach out to them. You can say, please, uncle. Please, please my friend. Pardon, mon frère, please, my sister. Mon I thank you for being with me. I thank you for the efforts that you are using to help me. I thank you for what you have been saying to me. Thank you for your advice. Man of God, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for watching over us. This is a heart of gratitude. And when God begins to see this type of heart, there's no way 
There is no way that God will lay away from you. Are we together? Remember all your family members. Those who have helped you. And you have in turn cursed them. Those who have blessed you. And you have in turn insulted them. Make sure you reach out back to them. Tell them that you appreciate them. That you are thankful for what they have done to you. Whether good or whether bad. Tell them that I thank you. Say, I thank God for what you have done into my life. Even when you went to them for help, and they say no, they are no. They are no to you was the reason why God had to uplift you. They are no to you is the reason why you are blessed today. That is why we always have to go back to God. And we say thank you, Jesus. Even if your home is not blessed with money, why can't you go before God and say, Father, I thank you for my children? There are others who are married today, yet they don't have children. There are others today who have children, yet they don't have children to live on to today again. Lord, I thank you for my own children. How many wives today have gone before God and say, Father, I thank you for my husband. Even he's not giving you what you want. Even he's not providing all for you. Have you gone before God to thank God for the little that he has been given you? When you thank God for the little, he will cause more to come to you. If you thank your husband, your husband for the little things that he is doing to you, God will turn his heart to do, to do more for you. you. If you thank your wife for the little things, for the little efforts that she is putting in to keep the home going, to keep the, keep the home stable, God will use her more to bring more strength into your home. But if you refuse to acknowledge their efforts, Satan will come and acknowledge their efforts. And that is why you begin to have marital problems. Disagreement in your homes. Disunity among children. Because of failure to what your children are doing to you. They might not do it the best. But when you appreciate the little, you are bringing out the best in them. The best in every man it's been revealed when you begin to thank them for the little things that they have done into your life. When you say, Father, I thank you for my healing, even though I am sick, I thank you for the provision, even though I am in need. That is when God will now sit on his throne. He's going to ask, who is making this prayer? He says, it's Mami Emile. They say, okay, go and give her what she wants. What you are going to receive in 2024, it will come as a result of your heart of gratitude. If you do not practice the art of thanking God and thanking people for what they have done into your life, more can never come into your life. Are we together? We are believers. We are Christians. That's why David, the man after God's heart, he will always go before God. Not to ask for bread. Not to ask for business increase. Not to ask for a wife. Not to ask for certificate. Not to ask for money. He will always say, Father, I thank you. I bless your name for your mercy. I give you all the honor because you are God all by yourself. Just by that act of thanking God, before he begins to ask, God will bring the supplies before him. Are we together? So believers, the easiest way to defeat Satan, the easiest way to run out of trouble is always to remember your good days and begin to rejoice in them. When persecution begins to come, remember the days that they were clapping for you. Go back into those days. The reason why God gives us miracles, it is not because we are holy. 
It is not because we are righteous. It is because in the in your moment of trial, in your hard times, you go back to that miracle. Because the miracle becomes your confidence. It becomes your faith that is going to take you out of the challenges that you are going through at that moment. That is why we need to give thanks to God in all situations. Why you are calling disappointment? What you are calling disgrace, what you are calling shame, take it to God and thank God for that shame. Take it to God. Thank God for that disappointment. Take it to God and thank God for that failure. When you have applied for jobs and it is not moving, carry the certificates, carry the application letters, take them to God in thanksgiving. And say, Father, I thank you for my certificates. I thank you, Father, for the knowledge you have given me. These are them before you. You do what you want to do with me. And you go back to that job office. There is no way that job will not be given to you. Because you have acknowledged the one that gives jobs. When you fail to acknowledge the one that gives children, that gives blessing, you will not be able to receive blessings. Jesus gave us the eternal promise, the eternal blessings. He said, I will be with you and I will give you life everlasting. So it means that even if your physical environment is not suitable for you, remember you have an eternal life. Remember that you are in this world but you are not of the world. That means even if problems come from love, from the right, you still have a confidence that there is still God in heaven and that your place is in heaven. When you begin to thank God, you are telling God, Father, I am confident in you. Lord, I trust in you. Lord, I believe in you. I know you are the only one that can bless me. That is why last week, our father-in-law, Prophet A. Samuel, he said that the thanksgiving offerings, that the sacrifice, we are bringing it today. He said it is in, in memorial that in the days of our trouble we are going to call the Lord. That's why he said in Psalm 50 and verse 14 he said give your thanksgiving unto the Lord and all your vows and verse 15 that, so that in the day of your trouble when you will call upon the name of the Lord he will hear you when you have not given thanks to God and you want to call him in the day of your trouble, God will not hear you. But when you have given him thanks with your sacrifice, whenever you are in trouble and you call him, he will hear you. When King Hezekiah was in trouble. He remembered his sacrifice that he has given to God. His thanksgiving to God. He went back to God. He said, remember my thanksgiving, Lord. I cannot die before my time. Remember my thanksgiving, Lord. My children cannot fail. Remember my thanksgiving, Lord. My business cannot collapse. I cannot have accident. And God said, okay. Go back and tell him that his sacrifice his thanksgiving prayers and offerings have saved him. So dear believers, make sure you cultivate the heart of thanking God. When you get up from your bed, the first thing you do is to thank God for your children, for your family, for your business, for your children, and for your life. Because this is the will of God for us in Christ Jesus. Let us cultivate the habit of thanking God. When you thank God, God will bless you. When you thank God, God will heal you. When you thank God, God will restore you. Anything outside of God's blessing, whatever you want outside of God's blessing, without thanking him, God will not have anything to do with you. So please, I want to leave you here that when you go back, 
Change your prayer topics. Always thank God for what he has done to you. No matter what it is. No matter who he is. Thank God for the little. And 2024 will be a year that you will live in abundance in Jesus' name. God bless you all.